All right, it is Dr. O'Gwen here. Today, I wanna to give you some safety tips how you can shovel your snow without injuring your spine. Now, two things to keep in mind uh, before you get out there and shovel snow and think that these tips are gonna save you. One, if you have a susceptibility, meaning you've thrown out your spine or thrown out your back before, then there is that susceptibility there. Also, how conditioned are your muscles? That's gonna matter almost as much as good technique and good form. You know, perfect technique, perfect form, and still throw out your back uh, if you don't have good conditioning of the muscles. So what that means for you if you are susceptible is take frequent frequent breaks. It doesn't matter how good your form is and your technique is in certain situations. You need to take breaks so that those muscles don't get so tight on you. And remember this, you never, most of the time, you're not going to hurt yourself while you're shoveling the snow. It's going to be more that you pay the price later if you overexert yourself and you're not used to it. Let's show you the tips. Before I do, I want to thank my lovely wife for being out here in 14 degree weather. Natalie, you want to turn that around and say hi to everybody? I do not. All right, she doesn't want to. She's <laughs> freezing. I'm looking at her face right now. What am I doing out here? Okay, tip number one is you want to keep a neutral spine. If you're bending your spine like this here, or if you're doing this, that's a surefire way to hurt yourself. So all that movement in the spine is not good. You want to bend more through your hips so that your spine stays straight, so that you have a neutral spine. The other thing is you want to keep everything close to your body. The more you go out here and do this kind of stuff, that's how you're going to hurt yourself. So you need to stay tight, close to the body, come in here, use your hips so you want to get low. You want to let your legs do the work. You don't want your back to do the work. So we're going to have to get low. This is sticking, so in my case, I have to be here. And get that but notice how i keep it close to my body so again neutral spine don't use your back use your hips keep everything close to your body and finally keep somewhat of an engagement of your stomach muscles the more you kind of keep tight here the more you're going to have a protection of your spine because all those stomach muscles that come from here to here are going to be nice strong and tight and you won't have to use so much back muscles so there are your four tips uh if you have any questions leave them in the comments below